What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mindac Outdoors. Um, you guys probably just watched our walleye catch and cook and we thought we're gonna keep this thing going. So Ryan and I are back in Minnesota around the Detroit Lakes area. Today we're gonna be doing a panfish catch and cook. That could either be crappies or bluegill or you know, I guess we'll probably cook whatever we catch today because none of us ate and we're kind of getting hungry. So step one of a catch and cook is the catch. So let's get to it. John, would you like a brat? Sure. After I catch a fish. I'll do that, bro. <laughs> nice trade, by the Sunny. All right, cool. I think we're gonna eat this one. Yep. All right, boys. That's the first fish that we caught on camera that we're gonna eat. Not bad, but we're gonna eat them because we're hungry. Well, you brought like a summer sausage, right? Yeah, it's a ring. German ring, yeah. Oh, we're good. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Dude. Smoked. Yeah, absolutely wrecked, dude. Oh, this is a botch, huh? Woo, crappie! There we go. Oh, boys. We're eating that for sure. Eating crappies. Let's talk about meat with you. We already have enough for a oh, meal, right? You do have enough for a meal. That's it. Let's see if I can get any of this. I'm not excluding that. Oh, crappie. Where's it? Crappie, crappie, crappie. Okay, boys. Crappie number two for me. We're eating him. All right, guys. So John caught a majority of these fish. Here's a few. There's a couple on the ice still. Oh, I mean, see all those. This guy was the most squirmish, so he's going to get to go first. I believe we have two crappies in there, and the rest are sunfish ranging around seven to nine inches. Nothing too big. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pin him down. I'm gonna start flaying from the top down. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna come down right to the stomach. And then from here, I'm gonna cut along this fin like that. And I'm gonna place my knife in and over. And I'm gonna follow that spine. There's a spine bone that I'm trying to follow as I cut, which will give me the most amount of meat off of each fish. So I'm gonna do that. Always leading with my tip. Now once I get to the end of this fin, top dorsal here, I pull my knife along the bottom. And then I'm just going to flay it right off the tail. Boom, nice flay. I'm going to do the same side on the back side, but I do it opposite. So I go halfway in so I don't rip the whole head off. Come down until I hit that spine bone right there. I'm going to flay in and pop my knife out right above this bottom fin. Then again, I'm going to lead with the tip of my knife along those fins and then once I clear that fin I'm gonna pull my back knife like that and then from there I just slide my knife off and now it's still attached here like that so I don't want the head to fall off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife here and I'm just gonna cut straight down pop it off like that so you have a clean fly that's good uh, we brought some bags here yep oh, there you go we don't want to leave any of this on the ice, so we just brought some grocery bags, keep them in there. And then from here, on this fillet, there's a rib cage right here. I'm going to get my knife right up underneath it and cut straight in. Like that, and then once I'm underneath it, you just lift your knife and the rib cage falls off. Simple as that. Rib cage is off, deep bone there. I'll keep that over there. Now we have boneless in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingernail, grab the edge of the skin, cut in, and fall. Just making a back and forth motion as I go, like that. So now we have a semi-boneless fillet right now. There's one more thing I have to do. Let's just make a little V-slot. There's these bones that run right here. I can feel them with my finger. So I wanna get right on top of them, cut in, and make a V. Like that. Done. That is 100% boneless right now. Perfect play. Keep that over there. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to speed through this. We'll get this done. We'll see you as soon as we're at the ingredient part. Alright, my 
before we cook this fish up, we are going to make a homemade tartar sauce that my grandparents used to use. So you guys get a little insight on this. First, I got to find the spoon. So what we're going to do is take our Tupperware and we're going to scrape out some mayo into it. So we'll just get just enough here. Don't ask measurements because I am free eyeing this. Like that. So that. Just enough to cover it about halfway. That's what we're going to with. And then, we are going to take a little bit of soy sauce. This is lechoy. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to sprinkle just a nice layer. Just so the top layer turns brown. And then once that's done, we have that concoction done. And then, everybody loves their pickles. These are baby dills. We'll take probably three to four of these. Depends on how many you like. You can use jalapeno ones, you can use Cajun, whatever you feel. And then we're going to take those, split them in half, and cut them up real small. Once you got the pickles and tar sauce in there, or the pickles and the soy sauce and the mayo. So mix that all together. So we have all our fish here. They're washed, cleaned, deboned, and everything like that. So now we are gonna go grab our eggs. If you want to see this in our last video of our catch and cook with the walleyes, check it out. It uh, breaks it down why we put eggs in a bag and our breadcrumbs in a bag and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all these in here. Some people will do a few. I'm doing it We're gonna ziplock that shit. And we're gonna shake it. Really coating them eggs all over the fish. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. And while we're letting that sit, we are gonna take our, what do we got? Canola oil and put it on our pan to start heating up. We'll do that over here. So we got our pan. Nice and tame. I'm gonna move this just a little bit, just so she's flat, like so. I'm actually gonna adjust it here. All right, once we got her sitting, we'll put that on, like so. Crack her oil open, like that. We'll fill the oil up. I'm gonna try and save about half. Crank this up on high. Let that heat up. All right, we got everything resituated, we moved around, tables moved over, heaters right here. So we got those. So we got our eggs. Fishing our egg. Now we're just gonna transport them into the breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna seal this. Like we do with the eggs. Shake it up. We're gonna reach in here and start pulling them out. Nice and coated. And lay them in that oil. See, we crack the doors in here just enough to let out the smell. Let's let those cook. Alright, now that they look golden brown. I'm going to take them out and drain off as much oil as we can to save that. Put them right on the plate. Turn them off. Alright, there's one batch. And we're going to repeat that again. Over and over. Alright, beans that we got these on the plate now. I'll just break them apart. Nice white under flay there. I'm going to dip in the soy sauce here. So that's what we call catch and cook. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what we do on the ice when we want to catch and cook some fish. Um, catch them, clean them. Make sure you bring a bag for your garbage. Uh, bring some oil, eggs, some breadcrumbs, and you are set. Pan, don't get the pan. And that's pretty much what we do when we want to eat fish on the ice. It's a great way to get them straight from the hole onto a plate to eat them. 
and we don't gotta stop somewhere to eat. Thanks for watching, we're gonna grill the rest of these up, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. I can go for like some like pretzels right now. Ah! <laughs> Such a botch, dude.